Evening guys. Here at the indoor grow center. Let's have a look at the first, the second sorry, experiment that I put together. Um, let's see the kind of first results that have come from that. And as you can see, we've got a lot of lights green in the grow tent happening right now on the top shelf the bottom shelf is the, the cuttings that are still coming along but what I want to talk about this particular video is these four or well, these six kind of containers just here and this was the experiment that I was doing that was watering every single day versus watering and we're actually watering on a five day schedule for these so uh, as the as the soil starts to dry out and you can see there's still a lot of condensation within these kind of drier pots even though this pot is clearly drier than this pot there is still definitely water and moisture within there so these pots have been on a schedule of five days per waters and these pots here have been watered every single day regardless of whether or not the soil dried out or any other conditions every single day and then of course we had these two that are just in plain old water to see what the differences were and although it's only been a couple of weeks a few weeks maybe i don't know if it's even been that long we have some interesting results straight away now first of all the two that are in the drier soil have done absolutely nothing so they're sitting there they haven't lost any of their kind of um any of the moisture in the stems are not starting to dry out or desiccate at all but what is interesting is that in all of the other groups we have some very significant amounts of growth happening so we have a, a little bud occurring on this this one here you can see that there's another little tiny bud forming right at the kind of end there this fig here we can see that there is a leaf forming up the top there the fig that's on the little figlet that's on the stem is starting to engorge and it's obviously doing a lot and even though this was the end of a branch and this was the end of a branch of the same tree they are totally different in the way that they've reacted similarly this is the middle of a branch and this is actually that tiny little cutting that I took that I said I was so certain that watering was going to be more effective that I chucked this in the, the continuing watering group and this is the middle of a cutting and there's there's absolutely nothing happening with any of these and similar to the those two plants here the ones that are actually in water are both also forming a lot quicker so this one here we've obviously got a little bud forming down by the water there the figlet is swelling and we have another little bud up the top of that plant there this one here we have a small bud forming at the top of the stem there not much else but still very much more advanced than the two in the drier conditions you can also see in these ones the roots that are starting to come on these plants you can see that both of them are forming roots and one thing that i've noticed that's quite interesting to me at least is that i was always under the impression that fig roots formed from the nodes and i know there's a few people out there that have mentioned this otherwise and lionheart 84 I believe his username is has mentioned uh, that they can form anywhere on the stem and he's rooted cuttings in um, In water before and his channel is actually really great if you're interested in tropical fruits and things like that go check him out But these uh, are obviously able to root anywhere along the stem. So uh, Definitely not limited to the nodes of the plant although that leaf growth and fig growth is definitely limited to the plant itself so a little bit of an interesting first observations. I suspect that these four are going to do really, really well. And I think these ones might do well, but it's probably going to take a little bit longer. And I've always had the opinion, and it's been forming quite strongly recently, that we tend to underwater our figs rather than overwater them. And whilst I do kind of get the argument that having too wet soil can lead to root rot, which can lead to the death of your cuttings, I actually think that by watering them frequently we do a lot better by ourselves and while we're here we'll have a quick look at the other experiment that we have which is up the back there those four cuttings that you can see right there and so we can see that only one of these cuttings is doing anything but this one particular cutting is doing a lot the other three are doing nothing at all there's no roots there's no buds there's no sign that they're even alive 
And these particular cuttings were all taken from the exact same branch of the tree, so I'm absolutely shocked that there's any difference whatsoever. They're in the exact same portion of the tent, they were all treated exactly the same, they're watered the same frequency. So whilst why one of them has budded out and the other three have done absolutely nothing, uh, I don't know. Now the one that has budded out is in the, the, the one of the cuttings that I scored, so I did cut away some of the bark and expose the cambium layer before dipping it in hormone. Uh, whether or not this is enough of a sample size to kind of be conclusive, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. If the other if the other cutting that had been scored had also leafed out and we had two that weren't leafed out, that'd be a little bit clearer. But at the moment we have one that was scored in exactly the same way that has also not leafed out. So it really doesn't tell us that much, unfortunately. And I might have to repeat this. But this one here, definitely, I am becoming more and more convinced the wetter the soil or frequent watering, provided you don't have a really dense, heavy soil that can be kind of uh, forming these pockets of water in the soil, I think that frequent watering is far more productive than infrequent or waiting till the soil dries out a little bit more. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that one. Good to see you all again, and we'll catch you in the next one.